Hello, hopefully you can hear me. See a lot of you um, wondering why and how I'm happy without a man. Um, okay, I'm still trying to heal from my last relationship. Um, I was with him for six years. And for about four years into the relationship, um, I ended up getting sick and being diagnosed with sarcoidosis. So I couldn't work anymore. And if he came home from working a 12-hour shift and I was sleeping... Which, with sarcoidosis, I was always in pain. Um, just walking to the bathroom. I had to stop to catch my breath. And then walk all the way into the bathroom. It was very hard. I needed help getting dressed. Getting in and out of the tub. Um, just taking a bath and getting dressed. I'd need a nap. Very hard. Um. And I didn't sleep well because I was constantly in pain. Anyways, he, he came home from working 12-hour shifts and I was sleeping. Whatever he had in his hands that day. Whether it be a bottle of water, four dollars worth of quarters, car keys, his hard heavy hat, whatever he had in his hands, he would beat me with. Um, after I got put on prednisone, I gained over a hundred pounds and he would buy groceries for himself and I would just get a small little salad bag and that was supposed to last me for a whole month. He started beating and starving my pets. He killed my three birds. Two of them were babies. He... Stole from me, cheated on me, wasn't paying the bills, so I cashed in my last 401k to get us caught up. Plus, was able to take him out for his birthday. That same day I found out, my other friend passed away. And he made a joke about that and my other friend. That was like my little sister. Um, about them dying. Just horrible. Then he picked a fight with me in the restaurant, um, and I was paying for the meal for his birthday. It was just horrible what me and my animals went through when he was here. And when we went out in public, I had to act happy. So if I didn't, I would get threatened that he would just let me die. When he would come home with a cold... He would cough in my face and tell me he hopes I die. Um, that, and then when he would leave to go to work, he would sit there and say, I wish you die when I'm gone. It was, I went through horrible, horrible things that the person that you love. You shouldn't be treated that way. And the person that says they love you, they don't, they wouldn't treat you that way. Worse than an animal. I have PTSD from it. I was in all my relationships except for just a few were all bad. And that last one was the worst. <sighs> I have anxiety. I have depression. And I had to get out of that relationship. Otherwise, I would have took my life. No person that loves you will treat you that way. 
no person that loves you will make you feel less than and tell you you're worthless and that you shouldn't be here. I don't care if you're healthy or sick. You have all rights to be here. And he broke me. Physically, mentally, I can't and won't be in another relationship ever again. I need to heal from the last relationship. And I may never be healed. And I'm okay with that. I can't go through with what I've been through ever again. I lost two kids by him. And everything happens for a reason. I wouldn't have told those kids who their dad was. If I would have carried full term, they wouldn't have known. I don't care if they thought bad about me or what I wouldn't have told them. Life is too short. Don't ever let anyone mistreat you. Physically, mentally, it doesn't get better. It just gets worse. And now I'm just focusing on myself and my illness and my physical and mental health. And I won't be in another relationship. Hold on. All I need in my life is God, my family, my children, my friends, and that's it. I don't want a man other than my friends. All my friends are men, like 98% of them. I won't ever have a boyfriend, a fiance, husband, won't do it. But I figure I'd let you guys know since you're all wondering why I won't be with anyone. That's why. Can't go into a relationship and you're broken physically and mentally. Wouldn't be right to the other person. And you're just gonna <sighs> make that relationship suffer. And it's not right to the other person. So I have to try to at least heal. And if I don't, I don't need a man. I'm very happy without one. For once in my life, I'm very happy. Um, I went from one abuse relationship to the next, to the next, to the next. And this is the only time I haven't. And I need a heal. Alright, well, God bless you guys. Bye.